When I'm navigating the Detroit River and I'm looking for spots to fish, I rely on my Raymarine Axiom. I have the unit right on my console, and I have a Dragonfly sonar at the front where the transducer is attached to the bottom of the electric. So it's not running when I'm just navigating around. So what I do is, number one, I use the help of my friends, you know, Pat Pagano, Mike Atkins, who fish here a lot, and one of them will usually operate the camera boat. And then I look for that structure break where it's about 40 feet coming up to about 20 feet. So I do that with my Axiom. I'm not really looking for fish. I'm looking for the structure break and keeping my eyes on the surface for the current. When we find the right location, I leave that unit on, but I go to the front of the boat and I actually put the electric motor in and then I turn my Dragonfly 7 Pro on. So that tells me exactly what's underneath me. So with both units, I'm not looking for the fish. I'm actually looking for the structure break. If I can follow that structure break, whether I mark fish or not, I know I'm gonna come into contact with fish. This is nice, you know, I'm daydreaming going along here and every once in a while you feel a tap, you lose it, drop it back down, get another tap, hook it. I've gone to the spinning outfit. Uh, come on, in the net. You know, I really like these shallow live release nets because the fish doesn't get all wrapped up in the net. You can see he's just laying there on the bottom, which is kind of nice. So you can see I'm actually laying him on this nice, vigorous mat material that's there. And look it, I'm color coordinated. I got my liguanos, the yellow ones on today, even though the fish aren't really yellow. Look it, nice eating size. You can get these all day long. And they're here in the Detroit River from about April all the way to like June. You can even get them through the summer, but most guys will use harnesses for them. Also, it's easier to get them out of these shallow nets. You think he wants to go? Look it, tons of energy, gone. Yeah, so this is kind of handy. You know, in the old days, I remember used to have the cotton mesh nets. So this, um, the holes are small, but uh, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's a soft nylon material, so it doesn't take the slime off the fish. I mean, a lot of guys are keeping the walleyes here in the river. What they've done is literally cut off the bottom of the actual net and then tie, you know, sewn in this um, circular pattern there. So it's just like a basket. So they work really well. We even use really big ones, like for salmon fishing out in the Great Lakes. 